Woke up, it's a beautiful day. Got a fresh pair of J's and I'm out to get paid. Came from the bottom, gotta find a new way. And I think it's gonna start today. Hey, when life get crazy and shit be going wrong, I take the time out to put words. Alright, so we back with the first episode of the Swag Signs for the year 2014. And it's gonna be a real short and simple one. We got a big, highly anticipated light heavyweight matchup between Lucien Boutte and John Pascal. It should be a, should be a good little scrap for as long as it lasts. Uh, they're both two boxer punchers. Boutte obviously has the more refined and composed boxing skills. Pascal's the more rugged, erratic, awkward boxer puncher. He's also the more more athletic fighter. So you know, in essence, they're they're both the same in a way as far as the style. They just go about doing their thing a little differently. But on some real shit, you know, like I said, I'm gonna keep it short and simple. I think John Pascal takes this fight, and I'm not even really trying to overthink this. I just feel that whatever Boutte is going to bring, Pascal could weather it. And I just feel he's the more durable fighter out of the two. And when I look at Boutte's fights, you know, he's skilled. And, you know, he could punch. He has a good left uppercut. You know, good jab. He could move. He could be slick when he want to. Defense is, yeah, it's decent. But he's one of those guys where he'll look good when everything is going his way. But he doesn't really battle adversity too well and you know he looks physically disturbed whenever you know cats start hitting him in the face like i'm not saying you're supposed to enjoy getting punched in the face but you could really tell he doesn't like it he gets like a little worried look on his face it's similar to how uh, brock lesnar and vladimir klitschko react when they get punched in the face you could tell they just don't like it at all you know you don't matter don't matter how many times they've been hit it's just you could tell it just really bothers them and and, I, and, and in Boutte, I see the same thing. I feel Pascal's just going to rush out there and, you know, bomb him. You know, that herky-jerky, you know, athleticness he brings to the table. Just going to throw Boutte off. And as soon as uh, Boutte gets cracked and hurt, I think it's going to be downhill from there. Similar to the Carl Frotz fight. You know, sometimes the will of a fighter is, you know, to overpower the skill of a fighter. And if you've been watching boxing long enough, you see these type of matchups happen all the time. This fight kind of reminds me of uh, Fernando Guerrero and Peter Quillen. At first glance, uh, Guerrero looks like the more refined boxer. And the better defense, movement, better arsenal of punches. And Quillen, you've seen him, you know, he's decent, you know, good hand speed. He could crack like no one else, you know, dude got good power. But he's been outboxed for stretches at a time. He waits to pull the trigger. He has up and down performances. But, you know, he's durable enough. He could take some good hits. And, you know, Guerrero, he really couldn't take any hits. Now, I remember I picked Guerrero for the little upset. And, you know, I was wrong on that shit, but... I see the same type of dynamic in this fight. Boutte being the Guerrero and Pascal being, you know, Quillen. You know, just to tie everything in together. And I feel that Pascal's going to go out there and move around a little bit. Yeah, his stamina is garbage, but I don't think it's going to really be a long fight like that. I can see this going about maybe five or six rounds, similar to the Frotch fight, you know. Give or take a round or two, but I think he's just going to... Rush up Boutte and Boutte is not going to be able to recover and you know, it's, it's a wrap, you know, but ho hopefully, you know, it's, a, it's still a good fight, you know, still want to see it and shit, but it just, it just has that vibe to it, like it's going to end early and in, in, in dramatic fashion, so, you know, my official prediction, uh, Pascal by mid-round stoppage, hopefully the winner gets a shot at, uh, uh, Sergey Kovalev or Adonis Stevenson, that'll be a good fight to see. And you know, stay tuned for more swag science videos. I'm gonna keep bringing that heat for y'all, and y'all take it easy. Don't forget to check out HoodAllStars.com. One.